Hi, I'm Ingo from Rose Travels and today we have a very special guest, Stefan Lau from the ILIO team. Stefan is a really experienced ILIO roaster and a meanwhile part of the ILIO team. He has seen so much um, when it comes to um, issues, problems with the machine, with the yeah. ILIO bullet. Um, I have also seen some topics and issues uh, with the ILIO bullet. And that's why we, we are talking about um, a topic which is maybe not the favorite topic of many of you, but really an important one, and this is the maintenance of the roaster. When it comes to all the different parts that you have to keep clean on the Ali Bullet, and I can assure you it's not too much to, that you need to do, there are detailed descriptions in the manual. There are also detailed videos that the ILO team made, which are really nice and easy to see. And you can find for each of the things we're talking about now in the description, a detailed video. But I just want to go through the most important things and why maintaining those parts of the machine are, are important. Mm. And um, maybe you can start and, and just talk about the parts of the machine that really need to be maintained yeah. regularly. Well, uh, from top down, most of the maintenance happened in the back of the roaster. If you keep the uh, chaff filter and the uh, exhaust uh, impeller clean, you are, uh, I mean, like 90% in place with everything around the bullet. Because that is the area that maintain a proper airflow all the way uh, through your, your roasting process. On the contrary, if, if you don't have that proper cleaning, it will give all sorts of issue in the front of the bullet, mm. like, like um, moisture dripping out, like a lot of chaff build up because you, you don't pull them back into the uh, chaff box. And so, but that's it. Yeah. And so, so you can see it actually when the machine is kind of releasing smoke, when it's releasing water, oils. I actually had a machine that I, uh, from a customer that I was cleaning the, uh, the other day. And um, when I started the machine, it was just smoking everywhere. Yeah. And it was just dripping water and oils out of yeah. the machine. Then I opened the chaff collector, had a look at the filter, and it was just all overclocked. Yeah. So you say cleaning the filter is um, probably one of the one of the things that are being forgotten and that cause the most issues with the machine. Sure, sure. Yeah. When, when the filler get clogged like, like that, and I hope it will happen extremely seldom to you guys, um, then we actually have a security feature, both yeah. temperature-wise, if it's, if it's raising too much, and even if the impeller is stalling because there's no throughput at all, it will spin up quickly yeah. and we'll have an error message. So, but, but don't, don't try to get there. <laughs> okay, perfect. So yeah, that's the first thing. Clean the chaff collector filter. It's really easy to do. Find a link in the description here. Clean the chaff collector box with yes. a vacuum. Yes. And then you've been talking about the impeller wheel as well. Yes, yes. The impeller wheel is, is not that often, but if you look at the impeller wheel when, when you take off the chaff box, you will immediately see if you have debris and, 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 and dust and whatnot around the, the uh, impeller wheel. Then it's probably time to actually take it off and also clean that in a, in a espresso cleaning detergent like Kafisa. Uh, again, what's important here is that, 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 that you actually position it the right way again afterwards. And we, can, we have videos again that, yeah. that is showing that. But one thing that is, that is oftentimes not that easy, especially if it's really dirty, is that you can actually, even though you, you release the little screw, Mm. in the impeller, you cannot get it off. And it's uh, simply stuck uh, to, uh, to the motor axle. And what you can do there is actually to heat it up with a hairdryer uh, pointing straight into the shaft. 
and that will actually dissolve or, or make the coffee oils build up there more smooth and then you can and it will be just like syrup yeah <laughs> and you can just take off the, yeah. the impeller yeah i've seen quite some impellers that, that was actually where people tried to with a screwdriver to yeah. actually pull it off yeah. and it was destroyed yeah. and then if if they only knew that that slight heat up at easy. the center would actually yeah. uh, solve all problems good yeah. and then for the detailed cleaning also there is a video also for the alignment because if if it's not properly aligned then it will scratch and you will hear a scratching sound yeah it can go too far in to scratch against the, the screws that are holding the motor yeah uh, but you can also have it too far out to the uh, chair filler mm -hmm. so so it scratches there yeah another thing that needs to be cleaned is the ibts and then there you will find a detailed video about the ibts and beam pro where we explained about cleaning the the ibts um, but what can you do um, as well when you're cleaning the IBTS? You, you told me before you can use yeah. this opportunity to, um, to clean the front of the roaster as well. Exactly. The inside of the front plate get, get uh, dirty as well. I would say all places where the beans are not actively getting, getting thrown around in the front plate and that is the top portion of the, uh, the uh, front plate inside. <coughs> uh, there you will have some, some uh, dust build up and you can simply brush that off. Yeah. Uh, if it's, you can brush off many times, but then maybe the build up mm. will need to be properly uh, cleaned off again yeah. with some detergent at a certain point in time. Okay. But make sure that you're not, you know, uh, cleaning uh, uh, with, uh, with detergent around the IBTS yeah. mm. because you don't want to have liquids yeah. in there. Okay. I mean, not so much to do <coughs> so far. We've been talking about the chaff filter, chaff collector box, impeller. When you clean the impeller wheel, you can also clean the box there. Um, cleaning the IBTS and the front of the roaster. Is there anything else to do? Well, you also got the tube. Uh, where all the smoke is actually passing through. Many people don't think about that, but, yeah. but actually the tube in here from the front, you can see that if you take off the, the bean chute, uh, there might be uh, times where, where the beans actually find their way into the tube that will then be sucked into the chaff box, but maybe not. So while you are at it with your good vacuum cleaner, I really recommend a dedicated vacuum cleaner for, for maintaining uh, mm. the bullet. Then you just take off the chaff box and stick the, the uh, head of the uh, uh, cleaning hose down into the hole here, and, and you can actually suck out mm. whatever is in the tube. Okay. Don't pull out the tube. Uh, it's fixed with, with glue, and you should never pull it out completely. And it don't need to be shiny. Okay, yeah. Need Nature, just to be clean, cleaned of, yeah. of beans and of chuffs. Mm. Sure. Anything else? Do we need to clean the drum? Never clean the drum. It's self-maintaining. Um, mm. uh, and actually, we want these black coffee oils that is actually kind of uh, coated into the, the drum yeah. to actually be there. Yeah. Because it gives a very nice smooth surface that yeah. can withstand almost anything. Mm -hmm. And actually the IPTS sensor is looking at that black surface and yeah. is calibrated to measure the right temperature mm -hmm. depending on the, the color of the, the drum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's an easy, easy one. Yeah. And then we have the debris, uh, chaff debris, that is actually at any point in time will, will enter uh, the bottom of the uh, chamber around the drum. Yeah. And as we try to describe in the manual, you can simply take a good grip of the bullet, hold it upside down, shake it a little, and then you see all these black chaffs coming out. Mm. It's not like they are obstructing anything, yeah. but you want to take them away at a certain point in time. Okay, perfect. What about the cooling box? The cooling box itself is having 
is having the, uh, the uh, sponge sitting in front of the motor. And, and as you can see here, this, this has been used for quite some time. It's not like it's not working anymore and you can actually clean these. Uh, mm. and, and, and so, but, but, but of course you wanna clean the box yes. mm. uh, in, what, in what way you like. Yeah. And you can take off this part and, and, and so you can get to everything. Yeah, okay. So, thanks a lot. I mean, honestly, it's not too much that I need to do with the roaster, if I hear this. And um, it's just, on one hand, it's a, you're buying a machine for about 3,500 euros, something like that. If you keep it clean, you will have more fun with it. It will last longer. Mm -hmm. And at the end, sometimes when I see machines that are really dirty, I just think at the end you're producing food with this machine. So just my recommendation, keep it clean. It's your food, it's your money. And um, if you do these simple steps, you will just have um, fun with the machine for a long time. Spot on. <laughs> Thank you, Stefan. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to know more about the ILIO Bullet Roaster, you can go to either the ILIO website, ILIO.com or ILIO.dk for ILIO Europe, or also on our website, roasttravels.com, where you find instructions, manuals, and uh, roasting profiles for the machine. Mm -hmm. And um, if you have any questions, you can come back anytime to Stefan or me. And uh, until then, I wish you a lot of fun and success roasting on your Ilya Bullet Roaster.